We are in Manila, Philippines. Let's go back to 2019. A year when our lives were still as busy as ever, thinking the world can never stop, and we had to reach and run for our goals every single day. Thriving and going as fast as we can. A year when we're always out and unstoppable and staying at home for a long time seems impossible. Then, 2020 came. A year of anticipation as we hit the first month. Already planned out how the rest of the year would unfold. However, things changed, not just for us, but for the entire world. We have our alcohol ready. And, and namin. Then we have a diluted disinfectant also. And then at the back, we have two baskets. This one is for the new items that we are getting. A pause. A breather. Time for family. Time for ourselves. Time to stay still and reflect. This was what we aimed for when our days were driven by the rush of life. And a pause, a breather, two years worth of time at home and counting was given. But not in the way any of us ever anticipated. Some even found the space and time suffocating. We've adapted and still are. Come 2021, Roughly 636 days with different levels of restrictions while staying at home and seeing the country slowly opening up, closing back down, and opening up again. Counting days, weeks, months, and even years until everything might be back to normal. But not yet. Not now not even soon we then asked our friends what comes to mind when you see or hear the word lockdown and here's a rundown of emotions situations hopes and fears that that word has instilled so you see there's always two sides in every story some found a workaround in the situation while some were still fighting to make sense of this reality. When the world stopped and the virus took over, ever so suddenly, people have been reminded of the importance of health, safety, family, and life. It's now 1.02 p.m. Keep walang traffic. The only vehicles on the road are the ones who are delivering food, medicine, um, and how we took so much things for granted, like the convenience of getting groceries or eating out anytime, anywhere, and with anyone. Breathing without masks and traveling over the weekends just because. Still now, as we're writing this, what the next days, months, and years to come is still a blur. There's so much that we had to adjust to and understand in a small time frame that it may take a while to debrief and go back to being our own form of normal. We're in the Philippines, a country which has been through all sorts of darkness. But even then, and until now, we've always managed to spark a light within us. This light, even the slightest sliver of light, we can bring to 2022. And hopefully, in that side of life, we'll see a much brighter part of this story. But until then, we're going to enjoy life as much as we can and work our ways to what seems to be normal now. Until then, here's our now. <laughs>